Well, hello. So today we're going to talk about letting go of grudges and we're going to talk about the Pasadena Peace Parade and how and where you can come. So the Pasadena Peace Parade, if you are interested in coming to the Pasadena Peace Parade, there is a link right at the bottom, an invitation, and you can say yay or maybe next time. <laughs> Um, but and later I will tell you why it's so imperative to come to a peace parade. How a peace parade can be a, the cause of many effects that resonate even more peace throughout the world. So, um, it's almost like a theatrical presentation. When you go see a movie, you are inspired, and when you come out of the movie, you are inspired to create and resonate even more. So that's what we're doing with the peace parade. We're creating a presentation, letting everybody know that there is peace, that peace day is a day of peace that is recognized by the United Nations and the entire world. So, um, that's that. Uh, we're walking from the mirror pools and, and all the information is right at the bottom. We're walking from the mirror pools and passing a city college all the way to the end of Old Town and then we're walking all the way back. We're wishing everybody a happy peace day. We've done it several years, uh, and we're looking to grow it as a as a thing, make it a thing. So hopefully you can join us. That being said, we're going to talk about grudges. And um, with the sentiment of Peace One Day, uh, Peace One Day is the organization that started uh, Peace Day, which is September 21st, a worldwide recognized Peace Day. Um, it's a day of just saying I'm sorry, just letting go of grudges. So for the month of, because as a student of Kabbalah, for the month of, for the entire month of Virgo, we go through the Tshuva. I think it's called Tshuva, correct me if I'm wrong, which is basically penitence. It's like you go through your entire life and you're like, what can I have done better? Uh, and oftentimes the person that you hurt the most is yourself because of the effects that you do and, and whatnot. So it's a, it's a time of growth. It's a time of assessing and reassessing and taking account and making sure and dotting your you know, and also right now the moon is in Scorpio, so it's it the the month of Virgo started with the moon in Scorpio, so there was a lot of emotional energy. Plus, we're going into Mercury into retrograde, so a lot of communication. There's a lot of weight breakdown in communication, so it's about being closer and and being more more. It's about being clear and more concise as to what you're trying to say. Um. But letting go of grudges, so I think I go through my mind. I don't, I don't want to voice them. I don't want to t tell them. I don't want to, but I just want to say it out loud in general. I let go of all grudges. And even if I don't, even if it is, I, I constantly try to flip myself to, why is it so important to let go of all my grudges? You know, I've heard that from teachers that if you hold a grudge, you are the one who is hurting rather than the person that you're trying to hurt. So, it, but beyond even that, for the sake of humanity, for the sake of the entire world, for the sake of of, of peace in, in the world, I would let go of all grudges um, that I might have had towards people, and people, I hope, let go of grudges that they may have had towards me. But, um, and I put that out into the world, um, and I want to wish you all, and I hope that youth consider, you know, letting go of your grudges just taking it into account, I was like, do I have a grudge towards somebody? That's like, what's the point? The garbage people are here, so they're going to get loud, so I got to go. I wish you all a wonderful year. Take care.